So tell me her breed again. Um, mainly husky, but she has like Chow Chow, Border Collie, Australian Shepherd. It's like nine different breeds, but those three are the main ones. Chow Chow. Yeah, I can see, I guess, the Border Collie. I want to make sure you don't, I don't take this personally if, I don't know. I wanna make sure you don't have like a part coyote. I think you have, I do think you have some coyote in this dog. And that like attributes to how she like looks at It attributes to like weirdness, yeah. like oddness. Mm -hmm. It's a very odd way to play. This is Nova, one-year-old dog, mixed breed dog. They came to me for resource guarding. She re she kind of gets mad at the other the puppy in the house and takes the toys away from the puppy. She also resource guards the owners. When their other chihuahua comes up, she ushers the chihuahua out of there and says, you can't come near my mom and dad. Not in a horrible way, but in a resource guarding way. She's not perfect with dogs, which you're going to see her play with dogs. Um, but So they want some answers to that. But the kind of interesting thing about this is I believe that this dog is part coyote. I really do. And I want your guys' opinion on that. Okay, you guys like to give your opinions. You like to comment. So tell me what you, you think about that, okay? Now, whether this dog is part coyote, it's obviously part, it's not all coyote. If this dog is part coyote, what does that mean? Well, it means the dog is gonna have quirks to it. I've trained actual coyotes in a new environment, zoo environment, actual wolves in a zoo environment. They're pretty much like dogs but there's differences and there really are, especially with coyotes. I've seen wolves, wolves are more dog-like than coyotes are dog-like. There's gonna be some challenges to owning an actual coyote. And we're gonna go through that during this process. You're gonna see this dog play with a lot of dogs. You're gonna hear me talk about it. Also, you're gonna see Prince. Prince is like obsessed with this dog. Now, you guys, you guys have asked me to make a video on neutering or not neutering. And there's not one opinion I have on it. It's always different. Every dog's different. Every situation is different. But like, you might get a dog like Prince if you don't neuter him, who is obsessed with smelling. You might say, Joel, well, why don't you fix that? Yeah, it's a hard drive to fix. Try to fix the drive that's getting him to smell and want to do things. Try to fix that drive. It's hard drive to fix. Okay, original audio So now. it's mainly, what I want to do is go up here, let her meet Prince, who you know. You've seen, you both have seen the videos? Yeah, I've showed them a couple. But All right. <clears throat> and get like her nature. Okay. Like what she does when she sees him and if she gets super happy, like your gut is that it's, it's bossy, it's like bossy play and like she likes roughness. Is that your gut? Yeah, because then also when they like, what the little puppy will do, because it's a lap, so it's eventually going to get bigger than her. Which dog? Um, the puppy in our house. Okay. Um, when she just gets annoyed and tries to leave and walk away, and she'll leave her alone, but she'll be like, wait, like, why isn't she coming? So that's when she'll go over there, bite her neck, and then run away. Like, hard? Mm -hmm. Bite it hard? Yeah, real hard. Like, sometimes she'll have her yelp, so that's when we come in. But I'm not home all the time, so when, I, when I'm there, I'll watch them play all supervised to make sure, like, she's not doing that. Yeah. And when I'm not home, they just kind of leave them both outside. Uh, 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 Nova, Nova. So tell me her breed again. Um, mainly Husky, but she has like Chow Chow, Border Collie, Australian Shepherd. It's like nine different breeds, but those three are the main ones. Chow Chow. Yeah, I can see, I guess, the Border Collie. I want to make sure you don't, I don't take this personally if, I don't know. I want to make sure you don't have like a part coyote. You guys, I'm being it serious. Wasn't listed on there, I know. I don't know if they. I don't know if they listed on there. It does. Cut, do they have the genes of coyote in these in their said, systems? Oh, I don't know. It just said on the bottom like Mexican street dog. That's like. Which is very possible. And if you put a bunch of dogs together, they eventually kind of become. And they breed for a bunch. They become what looks like Mexican street yeah, dogs. Wild I, I I mean, you guys, it's it's oddly. I mean. I don't know. I've said there are coyote dogs in the world. Yeah. Okay. Um, 
And it could just be a mix that just happened to turn out with that face. But it's something to think about. I mean, that's a husky tail. That's also a coyote-ish tail. It's just something to think about. Yeah, I'm a pretty good dog breed guesser. And I see coyotes and I've worked with coyotes. I've trained coyotes. So like, something to, yeah. Yeah, okay. Which will add a little bit of something, you know, interestingness to the training. Just all kinds of stuff. The personality, you know, the, yeah. Let's head up here. No, 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 she can stay off leash. Nova, we're leaving. You coming or not? Come on, let's go. Okay, there he is. There he is, hair, uh, wait, tail weird, tail up in the back. Yeah, you're gonna get peed on, sorry, sorry. That's. <clears throat> and when she met a dog a week ago, cause we're at a weird point, like between a year and a year and a half is like, a, they get worse and then they're who they are at a year and a half, kind of. So when she met the dog a week ago, you just put them together and they're great? Yeah. She just like would play, run. The only thing is when um, so, um, one of the owners had a tennis ball, so he would throw with his like bowl bin and she would run after and kind of like guard it. And I'm like, that's not your name. Right. Um, um, does she mark over other dogs? Pee over other dogs. Okay, ready? Hey, go see your friend. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, you like him. He's such a good friend. Such a good friend. Jeez, Louise. Is that what she usually does? Like that spin? Yeah. When they kind of get Is she spayed? Yeah. Prince, 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 you're a bull, man. It's enough. Yeah. I know. Prince, 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 stop smelling, please. Prince, come here, dude. Relax, relax. Okay, let's go. Plays like a husky or a coyote. <laughs> Honestly, that's very husky-ish, coyote-ish. Let's go Kiki to the side. Prince, Prince. It's a very odd way to play. I don't know that I've totally seen a dog get off the ground in that way. Now she's getting a little more mouthy. She's the one doing this as yeah. much as him. Like, don't get mad when he's countering your moves. You know? Yeah, she kind of started the... She's, she's an odd player. It's very odd, actually. Prince! Leave it. Prince, Prince, I'm over it, dude. No, come here. You guys, come on, come on, come on, let's move. Ignore the dog, please. Give a little knee. All right, we're just gonna watch. 
Now, what I'm gonna do and what you guys are gonna do is anything we deem, anything we deem not cool. So already grab her. Grab her. Will you help? Yeah. We're gonna both get her. Doesn't matter how far, we'll go anywhere. We're, get, we're getting her. Let her go, come back up here. Let her go? Yeah. Come back up here. I'm sorry about that. Did you step in poop? No, no, I'm good. We, yeah, sorry about that. I didn't see that. Okay, come up here. Okay, we're gonna let out a big, we're just gonna keep letting dogs out. Okay. I gotta figure out what the heck's going on with okay. her. She's a weird little... player. Uh, yeah, I'll, uh, we'll get Connery, I'll do it. We should have grabbed her almost for that first paw up on her. Then we kind of let it go. Then she just got, you know, weird and then, but here's what we need to do. We need to mark the behavior. We need to say, hey, and we need to clap our hands and we need to go get her little butt for anything that we don't like. Keep watching her while I'm talking. Okay, for anything we don't like. Okay, all of us, us three. Okay, ready? Big male, she'll probably like him. Okay. Oh, you guys, come on. Connery, come on. Okay. She's... Kona, I mean, uh, Nova. Look, here's your friend, dude. Don't, yeah, just ignore him. Good. Now we're watching, the interaction's gonna happen. Keep watching. Ignore, ignore. Leave it. Jeez. Huh? Oh, it's, it's not, I mean, I see a lot of dogs, right? It's not bad, but it was, it's just like a look up and down. Like if you and I were meeting and I was just like, like it's even weird to just do. And I was like, what's up? Like it's, you know, yeah, she just looked at him like right in the eye and she just kind of looked at him and then like kind of like stayed stiff. Nova, look. It's another friend. You wanna say hi to him? He's a nice boy. Yeah, he's a nice boy. Good job ignoring, keep ignoring. Okay, everyone to the pool. Uh, our number one issue is the deal at home with the other dogs. What's her exercise deal? Walks, what's, what do you do? Um, walks, uh, not really, I lost her maybe, it's just her getting in with dogs. Your own dogs? Yeah. Okay. How many any any walks? Yeah. Uh, maybe like two. Okay. Um yard? Yeah. How big? Okay. 
Okay. Like steps and little hills and grass. Right yeah. Like, yeah, we have a pole, so she'll like. She'll go in, in it. Okay. And with the other dogs, okay. she'll <laughs> show like control her environment. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, if they start getting near like the patio area, then she doesn't want them in there. Like she'll try to like. And what do you them. do? If I see it, I'll do like that hey, and I'll like she'll run away, but I'll grab her, and Good. I'll her collar, stop her, and then until she sits, and I'll have her stay, and then I'll go back with the other dog, let them do her their thing, and then um, I'll be like, okay, come, and if she does it again, I'll like repeat. Okay, you guys drove a long way mm -hmm. to be here. It, did you drive a long way to be here because you're like this guy's the best, or did you drive a long way to be here because you're like? we have real problems and we know we have real problems. I think she's good, but I think it's just those interactions with other dogs because I don't want her to, because the dogs at home just let her get away with everything and I don't want her to think like that's with every dog. So if we go to dog park or we meet my friend's dogs and she were to get like that growl and like jumping on top of them. Yeah, yep. Um. I think you have, I do think you have some coyote in this dog. And that like attributes to how she like looks like. It attributes to like weirdness, yeah. like oddness, mm. like things that don't follow normal breed. I mean, it's, it's also very husky-ish. Okay. That play with Prince was like weird. Like that jump. It was that. weird. And like when I see weird and then I see a dog that looks part coyote, I have to correlate the two in some way. I could be wrong, but I do think that there is some of that going on. That's my guess. Mm -hmm. I could be wrong, okay? Um, <clears throat> which is gonna make things more, a little more complicated. Um, you guys have to be like the total bosses of your house. And you have to get the dog more exercise. Okay. The yard is not, and it's just not enough. What if you lived with your mom? Maybe you do live with your mom. Mm -hmm. Oh, you do. Yeah. Okay, what if you live, what if you lived with your mom? I don't know. If I lived with, it, 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 it's a lot of time together, mm -hmm. okay? Like you can get on each other's nerves. It's a lot of time with all these dogs together. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You gotta get her out. I would get this dog out more. You need to go on more walks. Now in Riverside is the best time of the year for go for walks. It's not that hot. You can't do it in the summer. You should, you should be doing it now. Would you say like, in terms of like, how far, like miles or? Uh, it, uh, I would say like two miles a walk. Two miles, I think you can do in t 20 minutes, yeah. I think. You know, mm -hmm. and I would do it I don't want to tell you to do it every day because you're, you're doing it twice a week now. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe every day. You should do it every day or skip a couple days here, mm -hmm. four days a week. Let's, let's double it. Okay. You have to get this dog away from the other dogs. Yeah. It's too much. They got each other figured out too much. It's too much time together. You got to get out and like live life. Oh. She doesn't usually like... Pee? Yeah, she holds it. Like she, I, we've driven to like um, Laughlin. And she's held it that whole time until she actually had to go. And we stopped to give her, like, those opportunities. It took her yeah. 20, 30 minutes to do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, the other thing is you guys basically, and but I think it's going to be a long trudge mm -hmm. because of whatever her breed is. But you guys, any bad behavior, and I think we need to identify the bad behaviors with you at home. Mm -hmm. You need to mark with a clap, hey, wow. And then you need to go grab her and sit her down and she feels the energy in your arm is not happy. And then you need to have the attitude of, okay, go do it again. Go be mean to that, I don't care. Go be mean to that dog again, wow. Grab, we're marking the behavior and then we're punishing the behavior. Hence the behavior should drop but you got to do it over and over and over again in the home. That's kind of your main takeaway from today. And most, most people don't do that. And they don't mark it maybe with a loud noise that, that says right there. That's what, and then it, 
Then the punishment is the follow-up and the grab. I doubt your house is so big that you can't get her. Yeah. So you go find a corner, or you go find her, you get her, you sit her down, sit. You're not happy, she feels the strength in your arm. Then you don't hold a grudge, as I say. We can't totally stop her. We can't just change her personality of just oh. saying, you can have whatever toy you want whenever you want it, puppy. Nor do we kind of want to. So it's like, what behavior do we pick that's the problem to eliminate? Without going, we're gonna eliminate every bad thing she does. I have three kids, like, like they're, they're, they're gonna make mistakes. They don't need to be punished for everything they do wrong in life. You gotta let stuff go. What do we let go? And what do we say that's wrong? Maybe the, the chase, the chase to go grab the neck. Mm -hmm. Is it the grabbing of the neck? Is it the, we let her grab the neck or something, but we don't let her grab the toy? Like what, 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 what do you think? What do you guys I think? I think it would be more of the neck because she doesn't need it like, do that too okay, much. so let her kind of chase and run after the dog, but the minute, and she could probably get her sort of I'm the boss stuff out with the chase a little bit, mm -hmm. but we're not gonna let her bite the neck. Okay. Does this sound good? Yeah. So you're gonna watch them play, you're gonna stand there and sit there and you're gonna watch, and then the minute she does the chase, you're gonna let it happen, then the minute those teeth touch the neck, you're gonna say, I don't care what you say, no, Hey, I just say hey because it comes out mm -hmm. naturally. And then you're gonna clap, and then you both are gonna get up, starting off with both of you. It's shock and awe. You know what that means? No. Uh, it's like a, I think it's like a war term or something. Like, you know what it's like you're going yeah. big. We're going big at the beginning. Yeah. Wow. And then you're like, hey, and then you go grab her and you sit her down. Sit. I'm being mean to you for zero reason. You're a good boy and you hold her. And then when she's like, if she's sitting here going, yeah, but the toy and like staring, you're gonna go like, bring her over here. Don't even look at that toy. That toy doesn't concern you. Yeah, but her head goes over here. You're gonna go pop. Don't worry about that toy. Don't pat her like I did him. I'm just telling him he's a good boy. And then she's calm. Okay, go do it again. Go be mean to that dog again. I don't care. I'll do this all day. And then, wah, go grab her. It's the way to get rid of a behavior. She's so like stoic and serious and like, oh, now she's not. Um, oh, that's her friend, this is good. I want her to play. You've got a female marker, which would indicate dominance. And it's almost all female pit bulls that do it. My guess is, I listen, if you're mad about her being part coyote, I don't want to keep harping on it. My guess would be female coyotes mark because they're sort of marking uh, like uh, they all, the whole pack has to mark in order to not let other coyote packs come in. Only certain times of the year probably. I'm just holding her. This is a newborn in train. It's a smaller dog. She's been, she looked great all day, but I just. There are moments where, where, like when the way she looked at him over there, she doesn't look good, but she is good. And you just gotta be careful when a dog doesn't look good, things will often pop off yeah, quick. Like the stare, the the stare and mainly the stare and the up, 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 uprightness. Like there's been no play bows from her mm. today. There's been no like, like joy, except for the Prince stuff and the Connery, I guess that one stuff. Now we're, that, that's joy, I shouldn't say that. She's done that multiple times. I know. Yeah, she's, she's dominant female. There's no doubt. Okay, I'm letting Prince out. There's your best friend. There's your best buddy. You wanna be the boss. You wanna be the boss. She loves him. It may be that he's unneutered too. And she's like,
You guys, let's go. Prince! Let's go back to the pool. Oh, we, we locked you in. Poor buddy. Come on, everybody. It's about to get nuts. Carly, you go. Yeah, we added Prince. Um, we added Prince. Also, I just wanted to get her with a bunch of dogs. It mentally tires dogs when they're with other dogs. Physically tires her. She doesn't get a ton of exercise, so this is just good for her to be mentally and physically stimulated. I'm sure I have seen a female mark. I know I have a female mark that's not a pit bull but it's almost all pit bulls. Mm. Prince is really, thing. yeah. Prince is uh, really into her, the smell of her, mm -hmm. which you gotta be aware of like with going to a dog park or yeah. something, that like dogs are gonna really smell her a lot and like she might not like it. Prince. Spayed. Spayed and so they still can't. They, they, the dogs, are, they're all different. Mm -hmm. Spayings happen and the dog still has more. They don't, not everything leaves when they spay. Mm -hmm. Like there's still a whole system and she's still a female and you know. Hey, she's looked really good today. Okay. We figured some stuff out about her, right? Mm -hmm. You guys have actually learned a lot about her today, I believe, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. But she's been perfect, so we really have not had the chance to correct her. But guys, I'm telling you, I, I mean, it's, like it, I know. It's not rocket science. Mm -hmm. You go home, you live your life, you go on more walks and you go, all we are doing is gonna pick the behaviors that we want to eliminate and we're gonna eliminate them in this very specific way, which is you have to mark it. You can't do without the clap and the, and the yell, but it's one singular quick yell. Mm -hmm. Then you are gonna punish it, correct the behavior, and you're gonna do it over and over and over again. We'll do this all day, or you watch the videos. We'll do this all day. That's the attitude. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna to start to see, but I think you're gonna, you are gonna run up against a stubborn dog that it's gonna take a minute. It's gonna take a week or a month. I don't know why. Prince! Prince. Leave, you guys, leave her alone. Prince, Prince, Prince. Prince. It's gonna take a while to eliminate that behavior. It's very possible. Listen, like us saying she thinks she's the boss is too simplistic. You may have brought a partially like wild animal like into your home yeah. and it's not going to be, there's going to be these weird dynamics, you know? Kiki! Prince! I just wanted to bring Prince back in the mix because I wanted it to get a little bit nutty. We can, we do not want to make it more like stressful for her. You all are, everyone. Prince, go. Kiki, go. We've now hit the like the limit. The, her nervous system, we don't want any more. Then it gets stressful. You can see her kind of wide breathing. Okay, everyone up here. So you'll be petting or the other dog will come up. She's over here and she'll come in and yeah. do a block. Mm -hmm. Okay. I deal with this a lot. This dog starts to come. You guys have to be like, like without scaring this dog, you guys have to be like, come on. And we could do it. I don't know if we're going to see it. You got to be like, come on. And you go, like, go, go, go. Hi, I love you. You're the best little dog in the world. You're the best little dog. And then she tries to get in there and you're like, go. Mm -hmm. Nova, <laughs> Nova, I'm so sorry. Nova, I'm sorry. Come here. I did not mean to do that to you. Um, I try, I, I showed you and it didn't, I know I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry, come on, you can come back in. But that's what you would do. That's what you would do. And if you see a reaction like that, like it's working, um, does that make sense? Yeah. And then give this dog love. She doesn't run the house. You guys can do whatever you want, and you can pet whoever you want. But, okay, so, I mean, the chihuahua starts to come up. The chihuahua probably starts to come up and then goes, where's Nova? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so you need to be like, I mean, I could do it. I could bring a dog in here. I just don't think we're going to see it. Yeah. I'd go like, Prince, come here, or chihuahua, come here. And then chihuahua looks that way. You see Nova coming, and I'd go, good, good, good. Go, go. And then I, the chihuahua's already like backing up a little bit. Then I'd go, come on, you're free. I wouldn't go to the chihuahua. I'd let the chihuahua come out. And then if she's right here, you can, if you don't want to stand up, because then it, it's just like a bigger deal, you could just be like, go and like push her away. And then be like, you fine, you can live life. And this one's got to sit here and stare at you petting the dog and be like, what the hell? Yeah, the, yeah, exactly. Like I can do whatever, I can pet whoever I want. And she's on the, and then she takes one, if she's right here and she takes one step forward, you're already, go, pushing her back. But you can't sit here. People, I do this in the office with the people, and they, um, they sit there and they stare at this dog and like touch this dog or hold this dog away. No, 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 this dog. And then the minute the dog steps, you're like, get out of here. You're, the, the focus isn't this dog. The focus is getting this dog out of here. The focus is this dog. Yeah, like you don't want to, you don't want to sit here and stare at this, this, she's still getting your attention when you're like, oh, like, like it's very much like a very big go or a push and then it's back to this dog. And you, I'll, I'll, in my peripheral vision right now, I could, t I could see if this dog took one step forward and then I'm back to this dog. It's very, it's holistic, it does a lot of things. You're like punishing mm -hmm. operantly the dog coming into a space you don't want it for a behavior that you don't want. And it's also like bigger picture, like the dog going, oh, I can't, I'm not the boss of the house. I, can't, I don't run the show, which is very kind of big picture stuff. It works on both levels, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, I think today, which we're not done, was actually pretty good, even though like we didn't see some of the stuff we wanted. I believe you guys got more information about your dog than like most people get. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel like we were the whole time kind of going, look at that. Like that you learned your dog marks. Yeah. You learned your dog is possibly Pike Park Coyote. You like learned stuff that I think will help you in life. Dominant. You learned she's dominant, yeah. which generally female markers are dominant dogs, but I'd say she's a dominant dog. I think the jumping with Prince was play, but it was also trying to get higher than him. And she could literally get higher than him by doing some crazy weird jump. And she found it important to try to get higher than him. What was the spinning? Was that just like... Just yeah, that was like, it was like play, but it was like, maybe it was to get him away from her behind. But it was also like an odd way to play. Dogs do that. Huskies do that. Mm -hmm. But it was like, it was unique. There's just unique things about her. We can just tick down and go, that's weird. That's weird. That's weird. Not that I, I don't know that I've ever seen that jump quite like that. You're going to go home and go, boy, that few things we did changed everything or it didn't. Yeah. You know, we don't know how this is going to go, but you have enough homework. Like you have a whole different lifestyle at home, mm -hmm. essentially.